folks, Rocky the Nine Boy here, and today we are playing Ark. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more, and let's get straight into it. I present my masterpiece. This is the most beautiful Ark character I think I've ever seen, and I shall christen him Shring Bean. Guys, you know you are ready to play Ark when your character is this beautiful. Alright folks, here we are. We are ready to rock and roll with our new beautiful friend, Shring Bean. I'm not sure if an art character can get any better. I salute myself for creating such a beauty. All right, now, you know the drill. You gotta start off, pick up some rocks, punch some trees, because that's totally what you wanna do in a survival situation. So, let's get ourselves a pickaxe, and let's do our level up, and you always wanna do weight, because weight, is really important because you're gonna need to start getting metal and all sorts of stuff so let's get this let's get enough enough fiber to make ourselves some clothing because you don't want to be naked especially if you're string bean because this guy he's got a lot of uh he's got a lot of open leg which you do not want because there's mosquitoes and all sorts of things on tropical islands such as these and the game has froze, because that's always a good thing. Let's get the campfire. Alright, we're, we're getting ready to rock and roll. Alright, so let me uh, get out my pickaxe. There we go. Alright, let's chop down some trees, get ourselves an axe. Alright, let's get some flint. Now you really need flint at the start of the game, because you're going to need to get an axe and a torch, which are incredibly important. So, I am going to punch this tree for more wood, because you're better off using your fist to get wood than you are a pickaxe, because the pickaxe just gets tons of thatch, which will weigh you down. So, let's get our axe out, and our torch. Okay, there we go. And let's get some more weight. So, there we go. Let's make ourselves some clothing and what amazes me in arc is this guy can make an entire pair of pants in three seconds he, he can do all that sewing in three seconds it, it's impressive it truly is a feat of nature and that is probably the ugliest shirt I've ever seen and believe me I have some pretty ugly shirts alrighty so let's get some uh, thatch building materials that will allow us to build a thatch shelter which is gonna be important because it's getting close to sundown and you do not want to be out on this island at night because there's lots of stuff that are really hungry for some shring beans all right let's chop down some trees there we go let's get some thatch <coughs> all righty and let's get some foundations I think two, no, three. Let's go for free. Go big or go home. Alrighty. Alrighty. I don't know why I keep saying alrighty in a Aussie accent, Mike. But I guess because I'm multicultural. Alright, so I'm going to settle right there because we got water, we got trees, we got rocks. And by the way, rocks like those give you metal, which is going to be incredibly important. Even though placing foundation stops the spawning of items, which... It's not the best thing you want to do when you're trying to survive, but, hey, I don't really care if I destroy Mother Na Nature. Alright, that sounded so dark. <laughs> Alright, let's get some even more weight, because let's, let's make this string bean be able to carry a lot. Alright, we need some more fiber, which is incredibly simple. So, let's mash the Y button to get some more fiber. And let's get some more of those. It's two, free, okay, stop that free. Let's see, can I make some doorways? No, 
I am going to need more thatch, which is no problemo when you have a pickaxe. On a roadie. And there we go. Let's make some more of these. Okay, that may have been too much, but a. Hey, what you gonna do? And I'm moving at the speed of a cheetah right now. This is just this is just beautiful speed. All right, I made way too many walls, but I don't really care. All right, I'm gonna destroy that. Take the resources, which is good about the demolish tool. You get some resources back. Not a whole lot though, so let's get ourselves a doorway. And here we go. Here we have our humble abode. And when we put our roof on, my head's going to go through the roof. But that just, you know, gotta raise the roof, eh? That made no sense. <laughs> Alright, let's get some cooking. I already have the materials I need to get ourselves a campfire. Let's get some firewood. And we're gonna place the campfire inside here. Pretty soon, we should probably get ourselves a bed, because if you die and you do not have a bed, cannot respawn back at your base. Which gets pretty annoying, especially on Aberration PvP maps, where I will never forgive that guy that invited me to his tribe just so he could steal my one piece of thatch. I don't know why people love thatch so much. Alrighty, so I think we should probably go hunting, so I shall see you then. Alright folks, I have found my worthy opponent. You dare to defy my rule! Come at me, bro! Oh, this guy's not getting any hits on me. On on Han Veget! And that was my French stereotype. And this is just a slideshow of scaliness. Come at me, bro! How is he not hitting me? This guy's got aim like a stormtrooper. Another way of saying that is aim like me in Titanfall. Alright, oh no. Okay, this is not good. And I ran out of stamina. So, that's not good. Alright, come on! You may never take my spirit! Come at me, bro! Oh. Well, that happened. Alright, folks. I have successfully gotten my stuff back. And now sharks want to challenge me. Please spare me! I am a family! Oh. Well. That happened again. Well. I may have died 15 times. But at least I have Mrs. Dodo.